Oh, the countdown is on for spring break. Oh, your kids are probably having a really hard time going to school the next couple of days, particularly if they are Duval County students because they have, well, less than three days away. Two, day, two days, seven hours, 16 minutes from the start of their spring break. Now, the rest of the counties follow with their breaks in about two and three weeks. Now, parents, if it may be difficult, though, we realize to keep the kids busy the entire week, especially if you have to work. So joining me now with some fun and easy crafts that you can do with the kids is Don Gertman with Michaels. Good morning. Good always morning. fantastic to see you. And you always have some great ideas Thank to you. keep the kids busy so they're not just sitting there playing video games and watching t TV. Two things that annoy me with my <laughs> own children. <laughs> so what do you have here? Okay, so this first one, this is like just some simple wall art the kids can do. Um, so Michaels carries these, you can get like two in a pack. So the first thing you want to do is get, use any paintbrush, um, so it could be a sponge brush. And what you want to do is just do short strokes of acrylic paint, just all over. And then you want to let that dry. Here's some stickers that Michaels carries. You could put uh, what here, with this one, I spelled out be kind. So I used the stickers and spelled out be kind. And then I painted the entire thing with black and then I took the stickers off. You want to make sure, make sure you would take the stickers off before it fully dries. Because you're or else you won't to, be able to get them off, Oh, right? you'll have to use some tweezers so like I like, did. <laughs> it's like an easy version of stencils. That's what I like. Because stencils yes. are so hard because they move and, yes. you know, it messes up. You're That's right. That's great. You're right. And so this next one is just a cute little foam caterpillar. Oh, and cute. so this is very simple to make. You can use, um, Michael's carries like a variety pack of different colors and sizes of pom-poms. So you can use tacky glue. And here for this one, I just put like five together. Use chenille stem or pipe cleaner to create the antennas of the... How did you get the, the pom-poms to stay together? Tacky that, glue. You what, can use tacky, tacky glue. glue. Will work. Yes, really. Tacky you don't glue need a hot, a hot glue gun. No. Great. No, okay. you don't need that. And then just take some craft foam, create your um, kind of freestyle, and just kind of create your own little leaf. And then y'all use the pencil to create the to put the the veins on it. You know, this stem. reminds me of so is that, adorable. that the book, The Hungry Caterpillar, too. So it maybe oh, is kind of a fun, yeah. you know, combination craft and reading the book since this is Reading Awareness and Month. And you know what? You it could be a bookmark. That. I love it. It could be a bookmark. It's great. Love it. Love it. We're always coming up with ideas, yes. Dawn. That's what it is. Okay, this is great. Creative. So, yeah. So this is very easy. Michaels carries this wooden frame where it has like a heart shape inside. You can also get the square shape. They're only 99 cents. Very oh, cheap. Great. And so you use the same paint that you use to do this. Um, project what you use and just kind of paint it any way you want to. So what I did was just um, what did you do? How did you make these marks here? Is that I actually just used the end of a fat paintbrush. But you can use a Q-tip. You can use a dauber paintbrush that Michaels carries. And then I use like the foam stickers to put my name there to personalize it. Which are also inexpensive. Yes. And you know what? You never know when you're going to need to use these. Exactly. I've been using these for science projects for forever that have just been <laughs> left over when you brought some suggestions on. Yes. And I love this. Super cute. So that is a cute little beaded butterfly. Um, and okay, so I've this already, is how you do this? Yep, okay. you just get pony bees that Michael's carries. And all you do is just sliding on the pipe cleaner that Jen is like is Jen there is doing. Is some science to this? It's no, not two. at all. <laughs> so, like for, so what you want to do, you want to make sure you put 36 on a Chanel stem, and let me okay. just take this clothespin off. So basically what you do, once, she, once you put okay. the pony bees on, mm -hmm. then I'll just take what you have. Okay. And then what you wanna do is just kinda use it and wrap around the first 15, you count your first 15 bees, create your okay. small wing, the small part of the wing, and then the rest, you just wanna circle it over like this, mm -hmm. and then um, use a clothespin, make sure it has it, it's painted, um, and then use pipe cleaners again, to make your little antenna for the butterfly. You can put a magnet on the clothespin great. and put it on the refrigerator. Great, and use it on the refrigerator or anything yes. else. Don, great Adorable. suggestions. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. it. We want to remind everyone at home also about all of the spring breaks that are happening. So Duval County, they, they start on... Um, Next week, actually Monday, students in St. John's County take their spring break the week of March 16th. Clay County kids are off the week of March 23rd. And stay with us because Dawn is going to show us another craft, more craft ideas that you can do with the kids during the 9 o'clock hour of the morning show. Thanks again, Dawn. Always great to see you. We'll be right back.